What up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in its mug. Welcome to day four of the Warboss Tay boot camp for the 2016 painting challenge. For me, it's going to be a May painting challenge. I'm starting on May 1st. And uh, here are my models, and here's my progress that I did for today. I sealed everything in gloss varnish. Uh, before I did that, though, I added in these two little identifiers on the sides of the hull. Warboss and Hell's Hammer. These were uh, ideas from the client. I thought they were terrific, so I added those. And I added in blue uh, spotlights, or I guess like spot colors for the different kind of sensor lights and little identifying beams or uh, markers and stuff here on the backs of the little gun drones. On the front, the lights, the cockpit, and here on all the sensor spines. So, uh, there is that blue, nice blue color here in the little housing, turret housing there. And I've been looking up a lot of examples for weathering. This Imperial Armor Model Masterclass has given me some really great ideas. I'm going to do a full unbooking in a bit, so uh, stay tuned for that. But here's a little sneak peek. I'm, I've been looking at the Marauder Destroyer. You can see these were painted in very similar colors to mine, so very uh, urban kind of color schemes, grays, blues, blacks, and whites, and I just love how they do the, the weathering and the chipping. The client requested a very, very dirty, very um, soot-covered kind of uh, weathering effect, so uh, it's going to cover the entire model, but in order for it to not look like just someone threw, you know, soot at, at, at these models, I'm going to try to make it look very natural like it happened because of, of heavy use and so uh, there were four or three those two first vehicles that I showed you and this one looks particularly like what the client would want see how heavy the um, the weathering is on all these different areas I think this is kind of the way that I'm gonna go and uh, the client also requested a very very colorful heat bloom here on the like that on the barrel of the railgun. So I'm gonna hit it with lots of blues and reds and, and give it this very cool looking color. And uh, purple too, I think it mentions. So yeah, there's that. Stay tuned for the unbooking of that. It's such a, such a good resource to have. Uh, what else have I done? I cleaned the mold lines on that guy, Hammer. I'm gonna um, prime him as soon as I unbox the other Guild Ball teammates for the Mason team. And oh, I've been working on these guys. They are the Strelex. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light here. And this is my test model. I think it came out really, really well. I'm going with black beards because the black seems to really bounce off of this nice leather overcoat. And it makes the models look like Chaos Dwarfs more because some of them have that, there we go, that distinctive Chaos Dwarf kind of dreadlocked braided beard thing. So. I'm, I'm working on doing the skin tones, the silvers. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on these guys, or this guy. So if, if you have these Strelec models, then you can follow along. Or it's also going to be a general tutorial on how to do what I consider like a heavy leather overcoat and some other techniques like doing um, natural looking fur for the, the hat there. and. Uh, I think what is going to be the biggest part of this upcoming tutorial is going to be uh, gold, painting gold using the Golden Series from Scale 77, acrylic paints for modeling and figures. So I'm going to be using those paints, they are a terrific resource to have, and um, I'm also going to be giving the Games Workshop equivalents for those who have access to only the Citadel ones, but if you can find this set. I got mine off of eBay and it is really terrific. It's got these four golds on the left there and these ones on the right are just kind of, um, I think, shades more than anything, or like glazes. So you can, I think they use the, the Kunzite alchemy or the Tourmaline alchemy to get this kind of gold fish with the red fins effect. But here are some of the kind of effects you can get using the golds in this set and it is just fantastic. 
So thanks for watching. That's all the progress I have for today. Day four, the question of the day on the boot camp guide is um, what snacks do you enjoy snacking on? And the reason why I chose this is because last year alternative artist mentioned something that she like this homemade beef jerky that she made and somebody else mentioned this really cool like pastry that you can't get outside of gosh where was he from somewhere in in Europe and it's like a very specific pastry they make only this in this one area and I, I realized that I like hearing about different kinds of foods from all over the world and just you know something that seems normal to me could be totally weird and different and uncommon and, and rare to somebody who is like lives in Europe or uh, or Russia or or in, in uh, New Zealand or Australia or somewhere so I'm gonna share something that I enjoy snacking on I don't know, what would it be? Lady Boss? Yes? What do I enjoy snacking on? Coffee! Coffee! Um, cereal and milk. Oh yeah, I love cereal and milk. That is, that is my late night snack when we're watching Game of Thrones. I like cereal and milk. Or English muffins. English muffins! Which is great! English muffins are great with uh, peanut butter or almond butter. I love that stuff. Jelly. Or jelly. But then you eat too much of that and then you look like jelly. So <laughs> try to not eat too much of that. Okay, um, I guess that's it. I'm going to cut it off here.